So I was kind of waiting for things to settle down um, with this event. I'm getting the typical uh, comments on my videos. People in the area somehow searching my videos and, you know, telling me to remove it or that I'm shaming the families because, you know, it was real. Of course, it's going to look real from your your perspective down there. I mean, they call all the agencies in and they, they block off the area so nobody can see what's going on. I mean, nobody's allowed. The kids are, are taken out. They're going to be hysterical. They're going to tell their parents. This is all the things that generate the perception of an event. So, yeah, I mean, I know when I make a video that I'm going to get comments like that, but they're not going to deter me from doing this analytical work. I mean, if if people don't do it, who will do it? And it, it's getting to the point where media has to be criticized. Someone has to criticize the media based on laws that we have in place. I mean, it's a hoax until proven real. The way that uh, the way that media wants to operate, that's how uh, it's going to have to be. We are heartbroken about this senseless act of violence, but we are so thankful for the quick response by law enforcement and school employees who prevented further injuries. Our school district has been working hand in hand with law enforcement for the past five years. We have participated in countywide active assault training, and Anderson 4 schools have all received active shooter training. Interesting. All right, a couple of things I want to point out. Um, just watch the guy in the background. It just looks, he just looks tense and guilty. They're just relaying information. Why, why does, why do all of these people standing up here seem guilty? I want to make the video short. I don't want to do these long and drawn out videos trying to get really concise points. These guys are nervous for no reason. I'm Captain Garland, Major General of Anderson County Sheriff's Office. I command the Criminal Investigations Division. Uh, as Dr. Avery said, around 1.45 this afternoon, we got a call of an active shooter. Deputies were on the scene within seven minutes. Yeah, so he really emphasizes that, like, seven minutes thing. Seven minutes seems like a long time, but um, if the thing was cross town, seven minutes may be a really fast time. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is because seven, the kid was 14. There's, a, there's like, seven coding with this uh, event. People on the scene within seven minutes. Deputies were on the scene within seven minutes. <laughs> Sorry for repeating that a couple of times. I just like how he like emphasized seven minutes. And yeah, they're just big up on themselves because he says that they they lock this kid down in fifteen minutes. Listen. So it happened at one forty five and they got the kid in fifteen minutes? took him seven minutes to get there what was the kid doing was there even a kid a shooter i doubt it it's they're phantom people they just made up killed his father homeschooled like come on uh, you think we're that stupid you know, i believe we did have the uh the shooter in custody before two o'clock there was a rapid response and we were able to contain the subject and uh, ensure the safety of everyone else involved. So, let me get this straight. They got a call at 145. It took seven minutes for them to get there. So, they got there at 152. And then they locked him down in eight minutes. So, it sounds like it was a pretty low-key event. If it was an event, but it wasn't. It was fake. So what the people saw, what people that are commenting on my channel saw, was a drill. And some people were saying, you know, ATF wasn't there. And 
yeah, and I would have probably said based on this interview that they weren't sending it. And I don't, I'm not hating on anybody that comments that kind of information because when the stuff is settling out, it really, it, you know, it does have that air of being real. Um, but so, he, yeah, he's just, it's not really making sense now because he, it seemed like the situation was cooled down. Uh, the initial, uh, the investigation is in the initial stages. We've only been out there three hours. Uh, this is going to be a very slow, methodical, and meticulous investigation. Okay, so minus the minus the seven minutes it took for them to get there, uh, it took them eight minutes to lock the kid down, and it's going to be a slow, methodical process. Why? Exactly. I'm kind of missing the, uh, it's a 14 year old kid. Um, you know, this is all saying that it's real, but I don't buy it. I'm not really putting the pieces together here. Can someone help me in the comments? Uh, come to a better realization here on what's going on, but I don't, what, what exactly is going on? We're not going to have all the answers at one time. We're not going to have all the answers at 11. Well, why don't you just tell us when you have the answers? Oh, no, because then the story would seem way less believable. You have to have it as like an unfolding packet that takes about a week to have, uh, actually take its course. GoFundMes, blah, 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 blah. It's all, it's all in the works. And it's all part of this little machine organism. It's a living thing. It's a living thing now. Now that it can respond to the data collection instantaneously, we're getting all sorts of crap now. We're getting events that don't, they don't tie up all the ends. You know, there's people dying throughout the week. Um... Apparently, the hospitals don't know what they're doing. Um, the kid was airlifted out, and they couldn't stop bleeding because he hit a femoral artery. I mean, he was airlifted out. He wasn't receiving medical attention right in the helicopter. This seems really unbelievable. Uh, this is going to be a very slow, methodical, and meticulous investigation. We're not going to have all the answers at one time. We're not going to have all the answers at 11. All right. Let's catch what numbers this guy says right here. And also what he just said. He said methodical and meticulous, I think. MM. And we know MM typically means 33. We've only been out there three hours. So you got that number, right? Three? Uh, this is going to be a very slow, methodical, and meticulous investigation. We're not going to have all the answers at one time. We're not going to have all the answers at 11. 11. 3 times 11 is 33. He was a white female. The, uh, the shooter is a juvenile. He's a white male. There's no racial undertones there. There's no terrorism involved. Uh, we feel confident that we have the sole shooter, that no one else is involved, and that the community is, is not in danger. Even though he's a white male, there's no racial undertones there. There's no terrorism involved. Uh, you heard him say that, right? And what does he say after this? Uh, we feel confident that we have the sole shooter. The sole shooter. No terrorism. No racism. That no one else is involved. No one else is involved. And that the community is, is not in danger. The community is not in danger. Now, this was September 28th. This was the day it happened. Commons disabled. Um, there's a few different locations that have this. And now, this isn't the main video that made me want to do a video. I was just at work this morning compiling a list of videos to watch and I'm picking through this with you guys live at this point um, 
so we will uh, try to get some information out there to you as soon as we can. Uh, so that's more or less what this guy has to say. Look at that freeze frame. He's like, I did it. 